Good afternoon, I'm Christy Casciano. Thanks for joining us first at four. The Syracuse community is still trying to come to grips with the death of 11-year-old Brexia Lee Torres Ortiz. She took a bullet meant for someone else on Monday night while walking home from a corner store with a gallon of milk for her family. Teachers in the Syracuse City School District, they are tasked with trying to explain to students why their friend, why their classmate is no longer with them. News Channel 9's Madison Moore joining us live. She's at Blodgett Middle School for us this afternoon covering this story. Brexy was a sixth grader there, Madison. I just, I can't imagine the difficult conversations over the past couple of days. Absolutely, Christy. It's a conversation that no teacher ever wants to have to have with their students. But Henry Zachary, a science teacher here at Stemmet Bellagit, he says that unfortunately, this isn't the first time that some of his students have been exposed to this type of trauma and grief. He says many of his students opened up in class about similar situations where a loved one had been shot or even killed by gun violence. He says as an educator, he has to be strong for his students, but give them a space to grieve, adding that the counselors the district had brought in have been very helpful. I reminded them about empathy and how important empathy is and for them to think about um, what it's like now for her family, um, for her parents, um, and then I just let them take the conversation where it was. I also had the chance to speak with the school principal yesterday during that vigil, and he describes Brexy as a energetic, bright, and smiley young girl. He says that some of the students during class yesterday actually made posters and cards in her honor to give to her family. Live in Syracuse tonight, Madison Moore, News Channel 9.